So the playoff steam is coming to an end. I think the way we finished off this No Money Spent episode was incredible. We've been able to add so many top tier players to our team. We are progressing really nicely with this account. You can already see it, right? It's kind of spoiled. It's on the top. It says DRL Garnett tier 23. This is episode 31 and we're already at the Garnett tier. So we're going to go to our team. I'll show it to you right away. We got the brand new Luca. That's right. We've been grinding, right? We finished the king of the court. We got the Garnet Luca on our squad. We got the Cobalt Tyrese Maxi. Chaos Diamond Brandon Ingram. The Garnet Giannis. So we were able to craft him. Then we got Evan Mobley. But folks, I do have some more upgrades that I am going to complete. But first, let's jump into some attorneys and use the new team. That way, if you want to craft some of these players, you can get an idea if they are worth it. And I know for free to play players, that's golden. So let's get into it. The squad's around 295k, and I'm hoping with those other upgrades that I am going to make, I should be able to reach the next tier, which will be Aquamarine tier. And who knows, maybe we can be close to Purple Sapphire tier. I mean, again, we're moving along pretty quick, and there are some new cards coming out today, right? And I'll show them on the screen just in case y'all didn't see them yet. At the time of this recording, there is going to be a new tier coming out, so I am not going to claim my login rewards. That's the trick, honestly. You wait until the end of the month to claim your rewards because there is a chance that if there is a tier upgrade, all your rewards from the month will upgrade as well. So my highest reward was an Aquamarine. The daily login, now with the upgrade coming, my highest reward would be a Purple Sapphire. Now, if I'm able to increase my team power, so if I can go from Garnet to Aquamarine, which I think I might be able to do with the upgrades I have planned, then my rewards are going to upgrade with that as well. So we're going up against the OKC Thunder. Can that be a matchups for the NBA Finals? Who knows, right? Maxi's leading the charge. Let's see what he can do. Look at that screen. Come on, Giannis. There we go. Exactly why I wanted Giannis on my team. But every moment he gets the pass, works out for me anyway. Monster Jam. And what we got here? We're behind our back. We got that screen set up already. Pick and roll. Bounce pass. Monster. Monster Jam. Elevation on that was insane. Let's break. Let's go. Luka Magic time. He's going to give it right to Tyrese Maxey for the mid-range. I will take that any day. Let's break. Let's go. Luka's pacing. Mobley with the catch and shoot. You got those. Very underrated center. If you're trying to look for a Plasma Quartz card, and you're new to the game, somebody can craft really easily. So the easiest two upgrades I can make, right? because after all the crafting I did before, if I do have... 92 western conference collectibles so i should be able to make lebron james and then i can upgrade evan mobley to bam Adebayo. Okay, so let's go with lebron james first pretty excited having a lebron is always a good thing one of the best players to use for the pick and roll and just all around one of the best players inside this game he has some of the top stats that you'll see in nba 2k mobile and now with these eastern conference collectibles we'll make the upgrade to bam Adebayo, who i think is very underrated really good rebounder Pretty decent defender, decent mid-range. He's really good in the post. So this will be a nice upgrade over Evan Mobley. And with that, I'm hoping that we're able to upgrade in tier. If not, we'll try to level up some of our cards and see what we can do. All right, so let's take out Ingram. We're going to throw in LeBron. As far as gear, I'm going to try working on these Hyper Dunk 2014s for LeBron. This will bring up his strength. Allow him to get to the rim and take a lot of contact when going for those dunks. And then for center, we'll go with Bam Adebayo. We're throwing the gear. We do have some Miami Heat shoes that we can work on. Speed Little Fords, which I did have another pair. I already maxed it out. They had plus two to rebounding strength and plus one to defending. But let's see what other stats these shoes have. So this brings us to 304K. And in order for us to go to Aquamarine, we need to be 305K. So I think we can hit that right now, folks which is a massive W. Let's see, we'll do the upgrades. We should have enough pump ups to upgrade LeBron. And I even think I have some Zircon cards, yeah. We got Paolo too, I completely forgot about that. But being that I have Giannis, I don't need Paolo. I also got that Clay Thompson, so those will be two good players I can keep. I can use them for domination next time around to have some bench players, or I can use them for power cap. So having those lower tier theme cards are pretty good because they have a lot more power than the foundation. And again, using them in events is pretty good. And then Bam Adebayo, let's level him up as well. The reason why I'm not using those Topaz cards, because I'm going to try to make a mentor at some point. So we had 305.6K. That puts us at, all right, so we hit Aquamarine tier. So according to this, we are in Aquamarine tier. For some reason, my avatar didn't update yet. So 
Let's reset the game and see if it fixes. If not, maybe we need to make a few more upgrades. All right, so there you go. You see it right there. We are officially an Aquamarine. I'm excited about this, especially with the new theme coming out, because now you know that those reward cards are going to have even higher power, because every time a new tier comes out, all the cards' powers go up, you know, in an incremental amount. So it works out pretty good. So these are going to be probably the highest Aquamarine cards you've seen in the game. And we have a chance to get one of those. If not, we will be able to get some Cobalt and Garnet cards that we can add to our team, which will hopefully get us pretty close to getting to Purple Sapphire. I know there's been a lot of tiers coming out, but the good thing about it is that the powers are pretty close among the cards, so it is a lot easier to, to get into the next tier. As always, I do appreciate all the support y'all been showing on the channel. I will catch everyone in the next one. Stay ballin'.